Hey guys, welcome to the Bose. Today I'll be talking about Bellator 255's main event, Patrizio Pipple versus Emmanuel Sanchez. So Patrizio ran through Sanchez and had a close fight just a few years ago. So it's crazy to see the progress that Patrizio has made because we know that Sanchez made a lot of progress too, but Tr Patrizio made even more progress and he's something else. He's on a different level than a lot of these other guys. So he hurt him early with the left hook in the first round when he's coming in and then Patrizio pulled the guillotine when uh, Sanchez shot in when he got hurt because Sanchez was hurt so he shot and tried to not get hit anymore and then pulled guillotine put in the sleep and then Patrizio won again so Patrizio is pretty much the face of Belter MMA he's been the face for quite a while now and it's able to maintain defending the 155 and 145 title which is pretty crazy so the question is where does he rank among the top fighters in his divisions irrespective of promotions in my opinion He's among that top three in the featherweight division, irrespective of promotion, along with Max Holloway and Alexander Volkanovsky. In that list, I think it's Max 1, Volk 2, and Pitbull 3. I have Max 1 because I thought he clearly beat Volkanovsky in the second fight, but Volkanovsky clearly beat Max the first time. So they're really 1A and 1B. They both are very good and they have close fights with each other. Any guy can win on any given night, in my opinion. Pipple, I'd say he's third because he's beaten a lot of really good fighters, but the guys that Max and Volk have beat are known to be like really great fighters, and it's the UFC, so it's the best of the best. It really is. I mean, there's a lot of elite fighters in Bellator, but there's more in the UFC, and that's just how it is, at least as of now. You know, right? Max beat Aldo twice, kind of bludgeoned him pretty badly too, and Aldo, Aldo's an all-time great. He beat Perez, he beat Lamas, beat Brian Ortega, just in him a few guys, also on his list. Volkanovski has beaten Max, of course, Chad Mendez, and Aldo as well. All these guys listed are proven great fighters. Petruzzo also beat top guys like Chandler. I mean, over Chandler is now, right? He's about to fight for the belt. Beat Sanchez twice, beat Daniel Strauss. So these are great guys too. But UFC fighters, again, they're the best guys, and they fight the best guys in every fight. Um, there are obviously many world-class fighters in Bellator and, and one and other champion and other promotions as well, but there are just more of, of these world-class fighters in the UFC and that's just how it is right now. I'm not saying Patrizio couldn't beat Volkanovski or Max, but I think I'd favor one of them over Patrizio if they ever fought. I also wouldn't count out a guy like Brian Ortega or Zabit to beat Patrizio. I think those guys would have great fights with Patrizio. But Patrizio is very fundamentally sound, very good everywhere, so I think I'd actually favor him in those potential matchups. He's great defensively, he's patient, he's disciplined, obviously has a lot of power, and the big thing is he's very accurate with his hands. The precision is the key to his success on the feet, and of course, his ground game is really good as well. Unfortunately, I don't think we'll ever get to see these fights. Um, as long as Volkanovski and Max are in their prime, they'll be in the UFC. And no way Bellator is letting go of Patrizio. They're not letting him go anywhere else. For obvious reasons. So I guess there could be a cross-promotion event, but I doubt that'll ever happen. It's not a good look for the loser of that, right? If the losing promotion, you know, loses. So if Bellator, let's say Patrizio loses for some reason, he loses to Volkanovski in some type of cross-promotion event, it would look really bad for Bellator, so they would never do it, and vice versa for the UFC, it would look bad for them as well. But we still have some great fights for Patrizio in Bellator. I'm really excited to see him against his next fight, uh, his next opponent in AJ McKee. That guy is very athletic and also very good everywhere. Some people call him the John Jones of the featherweight division, so that'll be a great fight. He's undefeated right now, young, I think he's like 22. He seems like John Jones, just... In, ter in terms of like his age and his skill set just in a lighter division it really does so it's a really interesting fight all right guys that's all i got for you today leave a like subscribe and let me know in the comments what you think about patrizio pitbull how do you think he's gonna do his upcoming fight where do you think he ranks among the top fighters in the world in his division and maybe even pound for pound as well and i'll see you next time peace